Peace, peace, y'all. Welcome to today's Mathematics with your girl, Sunshine Monet. L. Today is 438. We are now in the month of four. So you did the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. Now we're in the space of culture and freedom. How are you implementing and harmonizing what you have received during the one, two, three? You feel me? So in this space, we want harmony. We are creating the cornerstone. We like manifesting. We're creating like the flowers are blooming. The seeds are sprouting. Things are coming into the physical now. Do you like what's coming into the physical? Well, then fix it. Mercury's in retrograde right now for you to do that. And we love Mercury so much for going on retrograde on April 1st, just setting off the tune like, you know what? Some of y'all didn't really do what y'all supposed to do from the one to the three. So I got y'all. I'm a, I'm going to slow down for y'all to catch up. Now I'm saying so thank you, Mercury, for giving us a chance to rehash some people, places, things, situations, events, mindsets, heart sets, and all them sense to see if we like them shits. Because some people be late to class. You hear me? Now this time be on time because you got to the 24th to get it right. Okay. So. On this day at three, you already know we in a space of expression. So this is it's still going back a little bit, especially on a hump day. Today, Wednesday, we on the third on a Wednesday, Mercury and retrograde. You heard me. So, you know, allow this day to really, you know, pay attention to how you've been expressing your knowledge and wisdom, how you are communicating your knowledge and wisdom. Today is a day of community, communication, invocation, the throat chakra is popping. Happy day of Allegra as far as the Wednesday goes. Um, in addition to that energy, we are in the month of four. Like I said, this is the month of culture and freedom. How are you implementing the one to the three? What kind of cornerstone are you making? When we add that expression to the four, we come into a seven. Our third eye is on the forefront. Yemoja is here. We are concentrating on nurturing our home and family, our internal self, our feminine energy, our intuition, the moon, which is in uh, Capricorn on the tropical. So our thought sets is on, you know, solidifying things, achievements and stuff like that. And then it's also in Capricorn and the Vedic scale while we in the Sagittarius constellation. That's how we started today. All this is happening all up in the 11th house, which is your community. A lot of y'all like to do shit in isolation and it don't make sense. What is the hydrogen without the oxygen? What is the oxygen without the hydrogen? Do you not know that the H2O is the strongest bond and you mostly water? So the fuck you look like you're standing there by yourself. You're stronger with other beings. You feel me? A community is so stronger, so much stronger than a one person. The goal is to traumatize you out of community. That's the goal. And if you're falling for it, you're failing. You hear me? Did you hear me? If you're falling for it, you're failing. Isolation is not the key here. Community is, especially on this day at three. Play your cards right. You wasn't born alone. There was a whole bunch of people who came on the plane at the same time of day as you. So stop telling yourself that you wasn't in the womb alone either. It was a whole bunch of eggs up in there. It was a whole bunch of cells up in there. Some of them was trying to eat you. Some of them was trying to help you build. You is never alone. So cut the shit, okay? Cut all that social media shit y'all done got addicted to that traumatized y'all into isolation because that's going to be your detriment. Don't do it today. And don't do it in my space neither. Anyway, that seven comes together with the eight and it makes 15. So we stand on our one and we engage in, in our uh, adventures, you know, finding a balance between that one, that cardinal energy that we're going to get things done and we're a leader versus that five that's like, you know, fuck this noise. I'm just about to be out and about. I know a lot of you guys have been falling into that realm of just being fuck it. We about to be out and about. But, you know, you have to have a balance. You can't just be an escapist, you know, find freedom in the spaces that you're in. Otherwise, when you go out to find freedom in other spaces, you're still going to find issues to pick out. Now, let's talk about the astrological report while we're in this wanting crescent moon. The moon and Pluto are in conjunction today. That happened this morning at 6.13 a.m. with the moon being 3.2 degrees south. Minimal angle at 9.26 a.m. with the moon being 3 degrees south, southeast. And we were able to observe that at 5.06 a.m. with a 3.3 degrees south separation. Venus and Neptune are in conjunction today. So we got the heart chakra and the sacral chakra popping. Let the Mayotte scales measure that heart today, y'all. That conjunction occurred this morning at 6.46 a.m., meaning Venus being 0.3 degrees south of Neptune, minimal angle at 9.03 a.m., with Venus being 0.3 degrees south, southeast. And no, this is not visible. We have a we have a kite in the wheel today. For those of you guys that are into the shapes of the constellations, we do have a kite. It's being led by Pisces. And guess who else is being touched by it? Is Capricorn, Virgo on the other side of Pisces. So Virgo, Pisces, y'all know is the ops. And then you have Taurus being the ops of Capricorn. So earth signs, 
Y'all is getting the downloads today. If you know an earth sign that is a reader or whatever, what have you, that's who you need to speak to today because the downloads is popping in the earth sign realm according to the kite. You heard me. Also, earth signs, pay attention to your spiritual space today. Um, you guys are going to meet some people that's in alignment with your Kashic records, your past life, some karmic energy is coming to y'all today. And that's what Mercury is going to, you know, the, the, the people place things, you know, that's going in retrograde and like Aries Pisces energy. So for all of y'all as a collective, be aware that we're going to retrograde in Aries Pisces energy, which is like your aggressions, your anger, what pisses you off, what motivates you. Some of y'all need to take care of y'all blood and start detoxing and fasting because Mars rules over the blood flow as well and then you need to take care of your nervous system as well as we enter the pisces energy on the retrograde because you know that's what pisces rules your nervous system your nerves and um you know we are kashic records karmic bonds soul ties you know things underneath the deep getting out of that isolation bullshit but you got to heal what makes you angry first so you can stop projecting that on other people so that's what I got for you today. And the, and the stars and the cars and the maps, you know what I'm saying? Reach out to a goddess because you know I'm a Virgo, Capricorn, Stellum. I don't know if y'all knew that or not, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> this kite for me, baby. I will see y'all later today for the planetary forecast and the hump day reading. Peace, peace, y'all.